Everybody got it? Amen. Go ahead and read it. And behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me. Uh huh. To give every man according as his work shall be. Go ahead. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Uh huh. The first and the last. Now, how could it be Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end? What else he say? Uh, skip down to verse sixteen and read it. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. Uh huh. I am the root. And the offspring of David. Uh huh. And the bright and morning star. He said, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. He said, I am the root and the offspring of David. Just like he was a rod and the root of Jesse. Jesse is David's father. But he said, He is the root and the offspring of David, the bright one. If he's the root, that means he came before David, didn't he? If he is the offspring, that means he came out of David, don't he? So here's the root, and how could this be? Let's go now. Let's go to Luke, the third chapter. Because remember, he asked the question. He said, uh, how could David be his Lord and his, uh, Christ be his Lord and his son? He asked that question too, didn't he? Let's go now. Let's go to Luke, the third chapter. Luke 3. And we're going to pick it up at verse... 23, Luke 3 and 23. Luke 3 and 23. We got one more after this. Luke 3 and 23. Go ahead and read it. And Jesus himself began to be about 30 years of age, being as it was supposed the son of Joseph, uh -huh. which was the son of Heli. Now we ain't going to read all this. Skip down to verse 31 and read which was the son of Melea, uh -huh. which was the son of Menan, uh -huh. which was the son of Matut Matata, uh -huh. which was the son of Nathan, uh -huh. which was the son of David. Which was the son of, so we know now how he is the offspring of David, don't we? Because he came out of David. Jesus did. Verse 32. Which was the son of Jesse. Uh -huh. Which was the son of Oak. Over. Now we know how he is the rod of Jesse because he came out of Jesse. Or uh, David came out of Jesse, Jesse, and Jesus came out of David, didn't he? Now we know how he is the rod of David. That stem and that rod that came out of Jesse, rather. Verse thirty-two. Finish it. Which was the son of Boaz? Which was the son of Solomon? Which was the son of Nassasan? Skip down to verse thirty-four. Go ahead. 34, uh -huh. which was the son of Jacob, which was the son of Isaac, uh -huh. which was the son of Abraham. Now, if he was the son of uh, 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 Isaac, I mean the son of Jacob, then he was Israelite, wasn't he? Yes, sir. If he was the son of Abraham, he was a Hebrew, wasn't he? Yes, sir. Go ahead and read. Which was the son of Therah, uh -huh. which was the son of Nacar. Skip down to verse 36, go ahead. Which was the son of Canaan. Uh -huh. Which was the son of Arphaxi. Uh -huh. Which was the son of Sim. Uh -huh. Which was the son of Noah. If he was the son of Sim or Shem, then he was Semitic then, wasn't he? Indeed. He was Semitic. He was an Israelite, a Hebrew, and he was an Israelite, wasn't he? Indeed. Keep reading. Which was the son of Lamech. Which was the son of Methuselah. Uh -huh. Which was the son of Enoch. Enoch. Which was the son of Jared, which was the son of Malael, which was the son of Ken, Canaan. Uh huh. Verse 38. Which was the son of Enos. Uh huh. Which was the son of Seth. Uh huh. Which was the son of Adam. Go ahead. Which was the son of God. Now, when you get back to the son of Seth, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of God, which God are we, which Godhead member are we looking at? Jehovah. Mm -hmm. This is how he is the root, the root of David, because he came, uh, um, he came before David, didn't he? Mm -hmm. This is how he's the offspring of David, because he came out of David. Anybody understand? Yes. Come on, brother. Yes. This is how he is the root, and Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Amen. This is how he is the stem, that rod that came out of Jesse. This is how he is that root of Jesse. Yes. This is how he's the root and offspring of David. Amen. Make it plain, brother. Right. Yes, sir. 
He came out of David, his uh, offspring, and then he is this Godhead member that was the son, that he said the son of Seth, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of God. This Godhead member we're looking at is Jehovah, which later became known as who? Christ. Jesus. Yes. The root and the offspring of David. Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Amen. Now, Let's go now. So he said, how did he, how did he, if, if he's David's son, then how did he call him Lord? <laughs> this is how he is son and his Lord. Amen. The Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand till I make thy life. But what Lord was sitting at the right hand? Jesus. Amen. Right. Let's go now. This is the last scripture. This is the last scripture without giving everything away. <laughs> We're going to Micah. The fifth chapter, Micah 5. Now look at what Micah is saying right here. Micah 5. Micah, the fifth chapter. And we're going to pick it up at verse 1. Micah 5 and 1. Go ahead and read it. Now gather thyself in troops. Uh-huh. O daughters of troops, uh -huh. he have laid siege against us. They shall smite the judge of Israel uh -huh. with a rod upon the cheek. Now, who is this judge that got smited upon the cheek? Christ. Christ is Amy. Amy, hey, go ahead and read. But thou, Bethlehem Ephetah, uh -huh. thou shalt be the little shall be little among the thousands of Judah. Go ahead. Yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel. Stop right there. Who is the ruler in Israel? Yes. Judah, ain't it? Yes, sir. What lineage did Jesus come out of? Yes. Judah. He said, But thou, Bethlehem, Ephratah, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is to be what? Ruler in Israel. What about him? Go ahead and read. Whose going forth have been from old. Uh-huh. Have been from of old. Uh-huh. From everlasting. Now, whose who's going forth have been from old, from everlasting. Who are we talking about? Christ. Christ. <laughs> so we're going to end it right here. Right? And then we'll be picking it up next week with the second Chronicles. All right? So I thank everybody for coming out and I thank everybody for tuning in. Thank you. And now we're going to have the reading of the announcement. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, grace and peace to our brothers and sisters here, <clears throat> here at the Israel's Church of the Living God. If this is your first visit, we hope you come back and worship with us again next Sabbath. There's no eating or drinking in the sanctuary with the exception for water. Brothers and sisters, please adhere to the dress code of Israel's Church of the Living God. Brothers, please remove any head covering upon entering the building. Do not wear sleeveless shirts, fleece jogging pants, shorts, tight fitting pants, or any other revealing attire. Sisters, you must have a head covering. This is required. Hat, scarf, etc. Do not wear shorts, skirts, midriffs, or see through blouses, mini dresses, mini skirts, halter tops of any kind, revealing splits, tight fitting, or cleavage revealing attire modest apparel only. We have Bibles and scarves available for visitors. If you use a Bible or scarf that belongs to Israel's Church of the Living God, please return it prior to leaving. If you live in the Lake County, Illinois area, please watch our television program, The Word for Life, every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. Comcast Channel 17. You can visit our Facebook page at Israel's Church of the Living God to post questions or comments. All questions will be answered according to the Bible. You can click on the Facebook like button to see our daily posts and also click the follow button to receive class information and church activities, updates in your news feed. Uh, in an effort to expand the church ministry, we have started a building fund. You can make your secure payments online using our PayPal account at www.israelschurchoftlg.org. Or you can send your donation to the attention of ICOTLG at P.O. Box 8933 or Keegan, Illinois 60079. We thank you for your past contribution and hope for your continued support.
free will donations are welcome and appreciated. Um, finally, brothers and sisters, please continue to pray for one another. These are today's announcements. Um, we also um, have our Black History program coming up. Israel's Church of the Living God presents the fifth annual Black History program. This Black History and Prophecy, the greatest story ever told. This is February the 15th at uh, 2 p.m. at the Milan Banquet Hall, 651 Lakehurst Road, Waukegan, Illinois, 60085. For more information, please call us at 847-636-4792. Or you can visit us at you can visit us um, our website at Israel's Church of TLG.org. If you'd like to join us here. Or uh, contact us here at Israel's Church of Living God and give us a call at 847-636-4792. 847-636-4792. We also would like for you to join us on our website. That's Israel's Church of TLG.org. Israel's Church of TLG.org. And we'd like for all of those that are willing to come on out and check out our Black History Program, which will be the 15th of February at Milan, 651 Lakehurst Road, and it's free admission. So, you know, this is our fifth annual one. We had a beautiful time last year. So we are looking for a lot of people to come out this year. Come and learn about your black history from the beginning to the end, and you'll find out that this is the greatest story told. Mm -hmm. It is the greatest story told. So if that be it, we're going to stand and face Jerusalem. Our Father, Our Father, which are in heaven, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. For thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. And thy will be done. Thy will be done. In earth. In earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day. Give us this day. Our daily bread. Our daily bread. And forgive us of our debts. And forgive us of our debts. As we forgive our debtors. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not. And lead us not. Into temptation. Into temptation. But deliver us. But deliver us. From evil. From evil. For thine is the kingdom. For thine is the kingdom. And the power. And the power. And the glory. And the glory. Forever. Forever. In Jesus' holy name we pray. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord God of Israel. Praise the Lord God of Israel. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.